Hi guys, I hope everybody is doing really, really, really well. I've got a good one in store for you today. Um, <laughs> I think, you know when you see a tool and it just you just think, oh wow, that just gives you the fizz. Well, there's like four or five of those on this table. <laughs> and you don't often see that. I've got quite high standards for tools that give me, you know, the fizz. Well, this tool haul is quite unique because I didn't pay for any of these tools. These tools were swaps for early English uh, spanners, wrenches, and other things. Um, so I did a, a swap with my good friend from Sweden. I have got another tool haul coming, which is items I bought from him, but this is purely deals between, between the blokes. So I hope that people get a lot of enjoyment from this uh, from this one because there's some really, really, really nice stuff in this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one, and this is one of those items that gives me the absolute fizz, is this, this angle finder, 50 degrees, 40 degrees, you know, 90 degrees, zero degrees. How cool is that? I mean, to work out the angle. Have you ever seen anything like that before? And have you ever seen anything as cool as that before? That is like usually you see these but without this hanging weight this is just absolutely exquisite i absolutely love it um and this is one of the four or five items which i think is unbelievable the next thing is rather cool obviously everybody knows the eight inch backhoe but what a lot of people don't know is this is a backhoe number 21. normally you have a 31 and a 31 is the one what you get in the car kits i mean this is a very early 31 but the very earliest is a 21 and this is from like the 1920s um and this makes it very earlier now when you move on to these you'll see this is a 23 which is the biggest size they made and um, which i'll get into in a minute but 21 22 23 yep and then we have here i got this off him which is a 30 which is a six inch and is, you know, still very collectible, but I already have a 21. So you see there, 20, 21, 22, 23, the biggest size. So this will really help me fill out my collection on the wall. You can see it's slightly older lines, older design, slightly more rounded on the edge because this is nearly a hundred years old. Um, and this is probably 60, 70 years old. So a bit of a difference there. So two really cool items there. So between them two, that's the full set of those, which is really good. Um, the next lot, here we go for our second item that gives me the fizz. I mean, just look at this pen knife. This is um, a very famous Swedish brand. I think Eskavarn or something. Eskavar or something. He did tell me. And this is 1890s, and this was one of my swaps, so one of my most prized possessions, but I absolutely love it. And if you just see the, the men playing guitar, and on this side, they have another scene, and I just think it's absolutely exquisite, and I really, really like that pen knife. There was three other pen knives, which I, I thought was a little bit interesting. Nothing overly special, kind of cool looking, jazzy little cheap, cheap pen knives. But for me, this is a real beauty. I don't know if you can see the detail in the picture, but it's really, really something quite nice, quite special. I like that very much. Um, the next thing is the third item, well, which I think is absolutely stunning. This is a E.A. Berg, which you see the shark, that's the same as the shark from Baco. Um, these companies were interlinked and this is a bolt cutter a very very early bolt cutter now one of the catalogs for this tool recently sold for more than two thousand pounds just a catalog um, and this is a um, is a ratcheting and then obviously you can push this back start it but open the jaw up and just and close it and then close it I mean, and obviously the ratcheting mechanism actually, you know, I mean, don't you think that's the most exquisite tool you've ever seen in your life? Sadly, the jaw has got a crack on it, but from a point of view of, of 
attractive looking tools. This has got it absolutely all. Look at the way them screws are countersunk and then cut out. I mean, it's just exquisite. A number 3640, made in Sweden, Berg, from the 1920s, ratcheting bolt cutter. If anyone's ever seen a nicer looking bolt cutter, please let me know. I doubt it very much. I mean, you know what this is like, Scout, Mr. Scout Crafter, old John. This is just outrageous. I'm sure that would polish up amazing. But that is probably the nice, one of the nicest tools I've ever seen in my life. I think it's absolutely exquisite. The lines on it, it's a work of art. It's a sculpture. So this is a very, very collectible tool and a very high value tool. But it was swapsies, so it doesn't count. Then we have another one, which is this round, beautifully flattened uh, screwdriver. I just absolutely love this again. I mean, this is also another one of those items which I just absolutely love. You see it's even got a little bit of brass around the um, rivet. Really, really nice. Stunning looking little screwdriver. I did bid on one of these and it went sky high and I got outbid. Very identical to this. So it's absolutely lovely to actually have one of these in your hand. And this one is the same again. I mean, just look at that. Look at the bind. I mean, I wonder how old this is. It's like hexagonal, tapered into a flat, into a square. It looks like it's obviously had a plenty of bangs on the back. The wood's encapsulated banding, like, um, sorry about that, like, um, like a barrel. So I just think, just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, tactile, uh, sort of a work of art, really. Um, I don't think I've seen a nicer screwdriver in a long time. Like again, <laughs> to say to say there's some cool stuff um, is the understatement of the year. Now, I recently looked at the catalogue um, and, and I saw this and I did, I've never seen one in the UK before. And I actually swapped two off the chap. This is a Baco 12 inch number 23 alligator wrench, uh, fishtail wrench. And I just think it's absolutely exquisite. Now, I know these were sold in the UK. Um, in fact, actually, I'm just going to get the book and show you the advertisement again. Right, guys. So this is the original advertisement which inspired me in the ad. And this is the Baco adjustable spanner with a narrow jaw, especially useful for uh, motor vehicles. And you see there you've got the 6 inch, the 8 inch and the 12 inch. And I just don't know if there's any of these ever been sold in the UK because I've never seen them in anybody's collection. If anybody has one, let me know. Um, a number 23. So I thought, how cool is that? So basically, this is what you would have bought in 1930 out of this book if you had the money at the time. And I thought, I thought it's really, really cool. There is one more, which is not in this book, but it is, and it's a number 22 which is a 10 inch version and I'm hoping to get one of those one day fingers crossed. So that I thought that was really interesting. So let's right. So this gets back to it. So obviously there's one of those, but there's actually two. Obviously this one is a real shame if somebody's mark demarcated that as their own. I mean, they've put H Anderson, Anderson or whatever there, which I don't mind. Um, I think that's kind of cool, but this is a real shame. I'm not sure if I should try and get the Dremel on it and try and smooth it out, but then I'll have to do a full polish job. But I just think these are so cool. It's just unbelievable. I mean, they're just absolutely amazingly cool. Right, guys, so this is going to be a hard one. Um, it's going to be a hard one for me. There's no guess the price in this video because it was all swaps. Um, but which item do you like the best? If you could only have one, which item would you have? I mean, it's so hard for me because there's one, two, three, four, five, six items, which I just think would be the absolute star in any tool haul. I mean, just absolutely amazing. If I had to say, well, I'd probably go for this one. I don't, or this one, uh, possibly this one. I just think it's outrageous. I think it's a piece of sculpture. I've never seen anything cooler in all my life. Over-engineered, over-over-designed, 
stunning it's a shame about the little crack on the jaw but it's never going to cut anything so it doesn't really matter um but i do love these fish tails i absolutely love this as well i mean to be honest if you said all six i would i would understand so thanks if you've managed to get this far and you haven't turned off already um hopefully you've enjoyed this tool haul i think it's absolutely exquisite um, and some of the nicest tools I've ever had the pleasure of putting my hands on. So I want to say a big thank you to my mate in Sweden who I did this swap with. Um, he also got some really rare and really nice items as well off me out of my collection. But that's what it's all about. A win-win on both sides. Um, once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.